This video demonstrates the installation of the QuickFuse SC connector on Cordage using the QuickFuse toolkit with QuickFuse installer. The following tools will be used in this video. Cord tool, marker, Kevlar shears, fiber stripper, fiber optic cleaning fluid, lint-free cleaning wipes, fiber holder, cleaver, and the quick fuse installer. Here you can see an overview of the components in the connector kit. To start the process, slide the rear body with the boot and spring onto the cable. Remove and discard the spring holder. Then slide the protective sleeve onto the cable. Insert the cable in the cable stripping groove of the cord tool with the end of the cable touching the stop. Close the tool and rotate the cable to cut the jacket. Remove the jacket. Place the cable in the notch at the end of the cord tool with the jacket against the stop. Wrap the aramid behind the tool and hold it in place. Mark the buffer as it exits the right side of the stop. Place the cable in the appropriate slot for the cable size with the end of the jacket against the stop. Squeeze the tool and pull the cable through the tool to slit the jacket. Pull the aramid out one side of the jacket slit. Place the end of the protective tube against the aramid where it exits the slit in the jacket. While keeping the protective tube aligned with the end of the jacket slit, fold the aramid back over the protective tube. Place the aramid shears against the tube and cut the aramid so that it is approximately 2 millimeters longer than the length of the tube. Strip the 900 micron buffer up to and including the mark. Use the middle notch in the strippers with multiple passes to avoid breaking the fiber. Then strip the 250 micron primary coating using the notch closest to the handles. Clean the fiber with a lint-free wipe moistened with fiber optic cleaning fluid. Load the fiber into the quick fuse tight buffer fiber holder. Make sure the buffer is flush with the end of the fiber holder. Push the carriage wheel to its starting point. Place the fiber holder in the cleaver. Make sure it is all the way forward. Push down on the cleaver lid to cleave the fiber. Power on the quick fuse installer. Open the heater lid. Then open the wind protector. Place the fiber holder over the two pins on the left side of the installer. Make sure the fiber lays in the bottom of the blue V-groove next to the electrodes. Open the ferrule holder lid. Open the ferrule sub-assembly package. Make sure to never touch the fiber. Use the white handle to move the ferrule sub-assembly into the installer. Then close the ferrule holder lid. Gently close the wind protector, being careful not to pinch the fiber. The splice program starts automatically. The installer will beep and display pass when complete. Open the wind protector. Slide the protective sleeve up to the left clamp. Open the left clamp, then the right. While keeping tension on the splice, remove it from the clamps and slide the protective sleeve over the fiber. Remove the cable aramid and jacket from within the tube. Slide the spring over the jacket split to hold the split together. Position the tube so it covers the smaller diameter on the ferrule hub. The protective sleeve should cover the smaller diameter of the ferrule hub, not the larger diameter. While keeping tension on the splice, place the assembly in the heater with the protective tube at the center. Place the right side first, then left. Make sure the protective sleeve does not move. The heater lid will close when the assembly hits the bottom of the heater. 
The heating cycle starts automatically when the lid closes. With cordage, it is sometimes necessary to push the heater lid fully closed. The heating cycle is complete when the red light goes out over the heater button. Open the heater lid and remove the assembly. Inspect the placement of the protective sleeve on the hub to verify the sleeve uniformly covers the smaller diameter of the hub. Unscrew the boot from the rear body. Slide the rear body over the protective sleeve. Slide the housing over the ferrule hub. For APC connectors, make sure the red dot on the ferrule hub aligns with the latch on the connector. Push the housing into the rear body until they latch together. Pull the aramid and jacket from the back of the rear body. Split the aramid into two groups that come out between the jacket halves. Place the two halves of the jacket on the barbs of the rear body and push the boot against the rear body. Turn the boot clockwise to screw it onto the rear body. Make sure the boot is tightened the whole way. Align the outer housing with the inner housing and slide it into place. The red triangle on the inner housing aligns with the key on the outer housing. Cut the plastic handle from the dust cap to complete the connector installation.